Today we're gonna to be planting some sugar magnolia snap peas. And these have purple edible pods. If you've been following the channel for any time now, you'll see a couple of my videos from last fall where I grew the Cascadia sugar snap peas and they were in the green pods, but they were edible also. And if you've watched that video, you know just how much I love the sugar snap peas. I think like uh, uh, the everyday life of an OCD-ish chick, she likes them young and tender. You have to pick these young and tender in order to keep these producing. And they'll be a good fall addition to your garden. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how I prepared the seeds in order to get ready for planting. And then I'm gonna take some of my homemade compost, which is my grass clippings, along with leaf mold that I've collected from last year. I mixed in a little bone meal and some all-purpose slow-release fertilizer. And we're gonna go ahead and make a home for these sweet magnolia snap peas. Sometimes I play it safe And you can see it It's easy for me to show But sometimes I'm really brave And that just means that I'll try again tomorrow It's my dad creating mountains Where the valleys used to be Gotta change perspective If I really want to see that Sunrise over the water Swam over and under, get lost in all the wonder, never call it quits, no. When life hit me apart, I went faster apart. I just gotta remember I was made for this. As they want to go And it's time for me to say They won't break me I'm braver than I know It's my dad creating mountains Where the valleys used to be Gotta change perspective If I really want to see it Sunrise over the water I swim over and under Get lost in all the wonder Never call the quiz now gloves on because I'm gonna have to do a little digging and I can't seem to find my garden shovel. But this has got to go. This is a straight neck squash that we were growing all year. This is a black zucchini. That's got to go. And you also see that I have some radish growing in down here and I was using that as catch crop. We're gonna let the radish continue to grow but we're gonna clear out this back row so we can have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do at least 10 of the sweet magnolia snap peas on each side. Now the sweet magnolia snap peas do grow up to six to seven feet. So what I'll do is I'll let them drape over the pallet trellis and we shouldn't have any issues with them growing like that. Again, the first thing we're gonna do, this particular radish here, that's a little close to my line. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. This has been in there all summer long. And it's basically been just the catch crop. And you can eat these too, the tops of the radish leaves, but we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. Remove some of my, my Velcro that I use. And we're gonna pull back some of the mulch Look how rich that soil is. Look at that. That's all my compost. That's leaf mold and grass clippings. So we're gonna break all of this back. A few weeds in there we're gonna get out of there. Get that out of there. 
I have at least two inches of mulch in here, so I do mulch pretty heavy. But look at the results of how this stuff holds up over time. I mean, that's, talk about black gold. That's leaf mold along with grass clippings. I do have a little black cow mixed in with this as well. But we're gonna go ahead and get this steak out of there. Just gonna pull all of this back. Because what I'm trying to do is keep as much of the soil in here as I can. Roots are running everywhere. Let's stop right now. And then we could just put our mulch back. And like I said, I mulch pretty heavy, and that's why you don't see weeds in my beds. That's about two inches, literally two inches of mulch. And I'll pull that back again once I get ready to put my sweet magnolia snap peas in. So here we got the uh, zucchini plant, and we're gonna do basically the same thing. I'm gonna take our Velcro off. Okay, we got our Velcro off. And we're gonna pull our steak. If you have not seen my video on how to battle squash vine borers and growing vertical, that's a must see video because the year before the squash vine borer took out all of my plants. This season, I did have issues with the squash vine borer, but there's certain things that I do in that video that you gotta go back and check out that allowed me to save my plants and have a good productive season with the squash and the zucchini. So you definitely wanna go back and check that out. We're gonna do the same thing we did over there on the squash. And we're just gonna pull this mulch back. And then we're gonna pull this zucchini as much of that soil in there as we can. The roots, try not to disturb a whole lot of the roots. Okay, so that's gone. This particular one here, we're not gonna need, so we're gonna take it out. And there's just some roots. And then we're gonna trench down. Just pull all of our mulch out. So let's push it back the other way. Because we're gonna make room for our sweet magnolia snap peas. All the way down. And I'm gonna keep those probably about four inches away from the trellis. And then as they grow up, they'll lean back onto the trellis. I may even take this one out too. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, with the sweet magnolia sugar snaps, being that they're legumes, they actually fix nitrogen into the soil, which makes a good companion plant for things like radishes, beets, or some of your other fall crop. So again, we're gonna just push all the, uh, the mulch back. We've already germinated our sweet magnolia snap peas, so what we're gonna do is basically just sit them onto the soil, and then I'm gonna go back over with some of my compost. So here we go with our little bag here. Well, we got our seeds already germinated. I'm just gonna do like a little trench. And we're gonna be real careful on how we take these out. Like I said, these have already germinated. Try to do 24. Two of them didn't germinate. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're gonna take. That little beauty. What are we gonna do? One, two, three, right in there.
And when we get ready to get rid of this cucumber plant, we're just gonna cut it off at the stalk. Making sure we got good soil contact. That's beautiful. Put that one in. And all of those are about an inch and a half deep, which is about the tip of my finger. And then we're gonna come back with some of my compost, and we're just gonna fill that in. Go all the way down and fill that in. Go all the way down, fill that in. Pack that down a little bit. And she is done. Now what we're gonna do is take some of my rain water and we're gonna water them in. Now we don't wanna splash them too much, but we wanna make sure they get watered in real good. Cause we want good soil contact. Gonna mulch back over it. I'm gonna do a slight mulch right now until they come up. And once they come up, then we'll go back over it with the heavy mulch. And they'll push through this little thin layer that I'm putting out here. That's gonna be nothing. One thing for sure, two things for certain strength of the flower and she'll find the light. In about three days, we should start seeing those things peek through and then we'll know exactly where they are. And then we can go ahead and heavily mulch around them. They'll be okay for now. All right. So if you like my content, please subscribe, share this video, it helps the channel grow. And if you wanna see how these Magnolia Sugar Snap Peas turned out, Make sure you click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Until the next time, growing out the box.